with so many data points that Google Analytics collects, how do you know if uh, any of them show some anomalies? Well, GA4 alerts to the rescue. Here we are in the home panel of GA4 uh, user interface. And if you scroll a little bit down, you can find insights over here. Also, if you don't see them there, you can go into the report section and then find them in the snapshot. Here are the insights. So if you click on view all insights, you wouldn't see probably any of them because you didn't create any of them yet. But clicking on a blue button that says create opens up this dialog that offers which anomalies do you actually want to track and for which in particular do you want to be alerted for. So let's start with the most basic one. Anomaly in the daily event count. Let's review it. So it says daily for all users. If we see that event count shows anomaly or you can say it increases by more than let's say 7%, compare it with the same day last week or you can compare it with yesterday or last year. Obviously the same day last year is a long of a stretch for Google Analytics 4, but it gives you this possibility. So let's say we want to compare it to the same day last week. If event count increases more than 7%, call it anomaly in daily event count 7%. And we want to send notification to this email. Uh, you can extend this list by separating different emails by commas, but you get the point. So what if we wanted to actually check if weekly event count moved up or down? Only the comparison period would not be, uh, you know, you won't be able to compare it with yesterday's data because obviously a week to week comparison should happen here. And then you would call it here anomaly to weekly event count 7% and you're good to go. There are other options here for the condition. So you can only put anomaly and then you will let Google's artificial intelligence to decide whether something is anomaly or not. But you can say less than or equal to or percentage decrease, etc. You can also put percentage changed more than some value. So you are actually alerted whether the event count drops or increases. Let's take a look at the other ones. We can see anomaly in user count. Then you, we can see anomaly in view count. Also conversions. This would be very interesting because you don't want to be alerted for all events or all users or views. But conversions is something that actually interests your business. And then you want to know if something happens more often or even better, you want to know if something drops so you can react accordingly. The conditions are pretty much the same. You can say either it has anomaly or it decreases or increases, etc. You choose the name, set a person who should be alerted, and that's it. Now, these were all out of the box Google Analytics 4 templated anomalies tracked, but then you can start from scratch. And from there, you basically can say, okay, let's evaluate weekly we want to include, for example, only people from 25 to 34. And then we want to add a condition to say we want to only uh, analyze people in the city of, I don't know, London. So London citizens between 25 and 34, we apply that and say, if active users from London aged 25 to 34, increases more than 12% and compare it with the previous week, send me a notification on this email. Now you can see that the name they advise is very descriptive. So the example they given says uh, daily revenue is less than 100 or weekly users, etc. So we're going to call this one weekly London citizens aged 25 to 34 uh, increase by 12 percent and if we sorry and if we uh, actually 
save this custom insight. I'm going to start receiving an email every time that this uh, condition happens. Now, if we go to manage, you can see that I created several of these and it says uh, Dutch seniors sweeping our site. Pretty descriptive, means that people from Netherlands are actually coming in, you know, greater volumes, but the older ones. iPhone users spike 20% or I think this is also London, something that I practiced. Uh, while uh, preparing for this video, but you get the point. Alerts should be customized to your business. So whatever anomaly that you don't check daily or weekly, and even those who you do check, but basically tend to cause uh, an important effect in your business if they spike or if they drop, I would say that they are a good choice for making a custom alert and actually um, uh, giving Google permission to ping you via email so you can know whether something strange happens, whether it's an increase or a decrease, or as you have seen, all the conditions that you can set Google Analytics to actually track. I hope that you like this video and that you will subscribe to our channel because uh, the more of you follow us, the greater the inspiration for us is to make useful videos like this. Thank you. See you soon.